Hey friends, it's me, Micah, and this is the, uh, the, uh, the Homestead Bandwagon. Here we are, um, another smoky, smoky Western Washington October day where it's going to be 80 degrees. So I'm in the safest place I can be to hide from all this wildfire smoke um, in my storage container. Um, so a uh, big thing I got going around uh, the homestead all the time is, is flat tires. They are a frustration every time you go to use a piece of equipment that's got a flat tire. You know, you're always having problems with flat tires. Some tires, man, you just got to get used to every time you go use that thing, put air in it, air in the tire. Um, and the biggest pain in my neck is these guys. Um, just your common air chuck. Um, you have to press this on to your... Uh, your tire stem and basically hold it with your hand on a lot of lawn and garden stuff or or that stem if it's a really severely d deflated tire will retreat into the into the wheel so you're trying to hold the tire hold the stem ho or hold the chuck hold the stem anyway it's a big frustrating mess and i was complaining about it at work the other day because we we're inflating a tire um that i was trying to hold the tire onto the rim so we could get the bead to seat and it was just a mess I was like man I really wish there was something that would just clamp on to that uh that tire stem and one of the guys was like oh yeah they make those I said, well, shoot I don't know why I never thought about it so uh so I looked up uh on the lock and lube website lock and lube I, I love their uh their locking grease couplers we use them all the time out here um and yes they make a uh, a little chuck that locks on to the tire stem. So it just showed up in the mail. Here is the box. We've got a nice uh, amount of glare going on here from the light, but maybe you can see this. The lock and lube. Lock and flate. Now this one is a, uh, a it'll say here an open right there. So this guy's designed for, see here I have my little inflator dial so I know how much pressure I have. And so when I want to have air going to the tire, I press this guy. So I don't want this end to be closed. Um, I want it to be open. I want airflow always to go through here. So that's what this does. Airflow always goes through here. You can get these enclosed too, where when you lock them onto the tire stem, then they release air. But this one, I want to control my air there. So let's take this thing out of the package take a quick look at it and then we'll get it attached to our uh, airline all right so let's open this little package up see what we got inside um, there are some instructions here let's hear this little guy is let me press this down and the little jaws come out and as they go into this tube, they, ow, they grab onto the valve stem. Really simple design. Six jaws, and they've got little, I don't know if you can see this, they've got little serrations on them to really, really, really grip that guy. And then a little rectangular piece of metal in there, which pushes in the valve stem to open up that valve stem. Um, this feels pretty solid. Um, I can certainly feel it. I can certainly feel this thing sliding through the channel. Um, I, so I don't know if that's something you'd want to grease over time. I don't know if this is made of metal in here. This back part's metal. Yeah, this is all metal. So this is metal. This is metal. Um, it doesn't look like you can take this apart. This is riveted. So as far as I can tell, it's one and done. Um, it tells you on the side that it's open flow and a quarter inch NPT, so regular pipe thread. So this little guy clips through there. You see this little clip here that attaches this piece of metal to this guy, and then you have your point of rotation here. So if this breaks, it looks like your, your toast. If your little rivets break, your toast. But I think this thing feels like it'll hold up pretty well under regular use. Okay, so what's this say you're supposed to do? So you're supposed to depress the thumb lever, the instructions say, and push onto the tire valve 
until one to two threads remain exposed at the bottom, release the lever to lock the air chuck. This seem, seems very, very, very simple. Um, it does say in the instructions that they recommend using WD-40. It says that right there. Or an equivalent uh, applied to the working parts periodically, especially when used in harsh environments. It does say when tire valves are used without protective caps, the top ceiling face may become damaged. For a truly leak-free connection, you'll need to fit new tire valves. If the leak is small and not hindering inflation, there's no harm in running as is. So yeah, if you don't have a bunch of your... I've got some in my pocket, but I can't get to... Oh, geez. So if you don't have a bunch of these plastic caps on your... on your... the end of your, uh, your valves, they're saying, this one is... This one's got the end cut off on it. Holy smokes. All right, well, that's useless. But they're saying if you don't have a bunch of those on your tire ends, this thing might not seal completely. Understood. Okay, uh, let's install this onto a little hose guy. Let's see if I can get this off. No, need a couple tools. All right, here we go. Attach these guys. Okay, it is, it is attached, ready to rock and roll. You know, just before we go hook this up to air, I really, really, really wish I had a tire that I could just, you know, see if this clamps on to the, uh, the uh, thing as tight as I'd like it to before I get too involved. Oh, that's really thoughtful of Merlin. This swivels. Huh, how cool. Okay, anyway, we're talking about lock and lube here. And I've already knocked off some of the paint tightening it. Oh, geez. All right. All right, here's a tire. So, let's, uh, let's get in here. Let's get in real close. And uh, let's get in real close here. And uh, see if we can grab this guy. Now, what's nice about this style chuck is I can come in at an angle. Right, and come at an angle on this uh, this tire. Okay, with this guy, I've got to come in from straight up, but that does grip on really nicely. Holy smokes! Let's see if we can get you a closer view of how that thing connects. Look at how well that connects there. Let's get you another angle here. Boy, I'm impressed. Here we go. Yep, it's wrapping all the way around. Really good contact. You know, it'd be a great test of this. Let's see if I can uh, get these jaws to break off this thing if I'm just holding the tire off the ground with it. Okay, I'm going to let go of the tire with my back hand. Actually, I'm just going to... I might rip the valve. Let's just see. Oh yeah, this holds this this whole wheel and tire just fine. It's not going anywhere. Boy, that's cool. And released just fine. No damage to this. So yeah, this is this is just what the doctor ordered. I can get this guy on one hand. I can add my air. Okay, let's go. Let's go try it out with some air in it. Okay. So we got the uh, lock and inflate here, and we're just going to plug it on and hit this guy with some air. Um, I'm not going to touch anything with my hands. All I'm going to do is, is hit my button to give it some air. Uh, this thing says it'll handle up to 150 PSI. I, I don't have like one of those bazooka cans or something to test this with, but I've got my air compressor uh, with 125 pounds in it. So whatever, that's, that's normal for somebody just inflating a tire. So, okay, first of all, Lock this on here. Nice and easy. Okay, let's just hit it with some air. This is really exciting. You can't see nothing happening. But I assure you it is airing. Going from like 
Zero pounds of pressure, we're at 25. Plenty of air in there and yeah, holds on nice and tight. Man, that thing's cool. There we go, easy to release, easy to attach even under pressure. I wonder if it'll release while I'm hitting it with pressure. Oh yeah, there we go, that's cool. How stinking handy. Actually, I got one other tire we can try it on, a tiny tire that's really hard to get to. We'll check that one out. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a, this is a front caster tire on, uh, on, our, on our mower. And so this space is really small in here. Um, so I'm gonna rotate this wheel out. Um, so to get, yeah, I can get to this, this one as well. It's sitting out at an angle. If it was sitting this way, I couldn't really get into it as easy, but it's sitting out at a good angle, easy to get to. Uh, maybe you can see, if I do it this way, I don't know. But this one's always frustrating for me because I've got to hold the air chuck onto it while I'm airing. And I'm trying to hit my air with this hand while I'm holding the air chuck on, while I'm trying to like squeeze the tire on the rim. So look at this, I mean, we'll just, We'll just lock this on and hit my air while I'm pushing down to keep this guy on the bead. <sighs> Sometimes I've got to lift the corner of this thing up while I hit it with air. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. That was so easy. And normally, normally I'd be holding the air chuck on, hitting my air and lifting the corner at the same time. So, boy, this thing, this is sweet. Yep, go out and grab one. They're not too expensive. Um, seem to be very high quality. There we go. Lock and loop, lock and inflate. Uh, makes it great to do hands-free uh, air ups. See y'all.